So there are those moments when you really want to talk to someone because they are hot. And you're thinking, how am I going to make this happen? Do I need to use one of Matthew Hussey's world famous lines? Do I walk over there and make it happen? Do I try and get them to come to me? How long are they going to be here for? Because if I keep deliberating like this, eventually they're going to leave and then I'm going to go home and watch Family Guy and sit there and wonder about all the girls that I never spoke to. <sighs> Today, I want to give you a really simple piece of advice that's completely risk free. You're not going to get rejected and it's going to get any guy you want in the room to come over to you. You're not going to have to go over there and use a line. I know I give you that stuff and I will always want you to be able to have that. But this little technique is so ridiculously simple and it's going to have him walk over from the other side of the room. It's like mind control. This is Jedi shit, ladies. Maybe there's some men watching. Let's just, let's bring a little love for the men this week. Guys, I know some of you are out there. I know you're watching. I know you don't comment, most of you, because you're like, oh, these are videos for women. You're not supposed to comment. I'm not supposed to be here. You're here. I love it. I respect you. Ladies, let's do a little round of applause for all the guys here that we never give any credit to. I love you, mans. <laughs> I found a really simple little thing, which is going to be really obvious to a lot of you. Maybe you've been doing it for a lifetime, but I saw this in action the other week. And it was really good and it just worked so well. I was sitting at a pool uh, in Los Angeles and on one side of the pool there was a guy and on another side of the pool there was a group of women and this guy was looking at one of the women. She kept looking back and there was just this moment going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then eventually the guy, he goes like this. Now the reason he did that, this little gesture, is because they've been looking at each other, they realized they had a level of chemistry and attraction, but she was with all of her friends. So that's hard. Ladies, that's hard. When you're with all of your friends and a guy wants to talk to you and he has to come into the group where all of your friends are gonna look at him, some of you are gonna giggle, some of you are gonna whisper to each other, that's really hard. It's like every teenage movie we've ever seen where the guy just gets blown out and laughed at as he walks away. So he did the smart thing. He looked at her and he did this, which is kind of like this, it's like he's firing a dart, just this precision dart at her and bringing her out of the group. Now, she didn't just leave, she did this. She went, five minutes later, he did it again. He's like, and she goes, and they have this little moment again. And then she clears this little space on the sunbed next to her. She like moves a couple of things and she lets him see that she's moving them. And then she says, like, see? He then walks over, sits there, and they talk for a few minutes. They exchange details, and he leaves. Everything about this worked so well. If you're in a group of your friends, and he's in a group of his friends, the wave over is something you can absolutely do as a woman. By the way, you can also do it if it's one-to-one. -one. If he's just one guy, you feel like there's something there, you're one woman on your own, you can wave him over, it's not a problem. And by the way, you don't have to be by a poolside in LA to do this, you could be in a bar and do this. How often do you just wish, you keep looking at someone, they keep looking at you and you just wish that they would come over already? This is gonna speed up the process. If you've looked at them enough, you're not gonna do it after the first look. You're not gonna look at someone and go, all right, that's arrogant and a, it's a little much. You're looking at someone for a few minutes and you can feel it because he's looking, you're looking, he's looking, you're looking. That's the time to eventually you can be like, now, I know your question, what do you do when he comes over? When he comes over, you go, I just wanted to say hi. How freaking cute is that? I just wanted to say hi. Oh. Not like he comes over and then you feel like, I, so I really wanted to ask you a question. Uh, that is too much. I just wanted to say hi. So cute. And by the way, he's done all the work. You've just, you've just gestured in a regal fashion. <laughs> he's walked over and He's done all the work to get to you. Now you're just, I just want to say hi. He's now, the onus is on him, by the way, to continue the conversation a little bit. He's come over to you. Do not let that guy go home because he was not sure whether he should come over to you, but you kept looking at each other and now you're thinking, God, we had chemistry, but we never got to speak. Don't be that person. Just wave him over. The worst that's going to happen is they're going to go, no, oh, you come over. Like, they're going to wave you over and you'll be like, mm. So really, nothing bad can come of this. 
Just do it in a safe environment. Don't do it in a dark alley. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Don't be in a dark alley and you make an eye contact and you go, uh, <laughs> uh. Don't do that. That's, uh, that really will end in bad consequences. I'll see you soon.